Okay, so I'm working on the lower compressor mounting bracket. I'm putting in a vintage air AC. Um, I'm using all the factory mounts that uh, come with a regular LS3. The only thing I'm doing different is since I'm going with a uh, vintage air setup, the lower bracket here is different, and that's where my uh, air compressor is going to go right here. So what I'm doing is I went and painted the brackets. As you can see, they're painted black. They come stock steel. I'm going to put them in, put the compressor in. Um, if you're going LS and you modified your frame like I did, I went with a independent front suspension, rack and pinion, and you can see that it, it sits lower. So this is actually going to fit in. It's going to go right here which will fit real nice. So, this is the old bracket. It used to go right here. Do you see that old bracket? New vintage air bracket. One thing I do is I clean all the threads out so I can put things in by hand. I like to be able to feel things. They got to be smooth. They can't bind. This is the top piece uses two of these half inch spaces they go up here two mounting holes right up here where they go I'm using all the mounting holes that the regular compressor used A real quick test fit. I'm going to stop the video. I got to go get my anti C's. All right, I'm back and went and got some anti C's. What I'm going to do is now that I put these on, let me move this up a little bit. It's really hard to see. <clears throat> But there is a bracket over here. Um, it's right underneath the uh, part of the water pump. And what I did was I just test fit, make sure that everything fit in. I'm going to take these bolts out one at a time, put a little anti seize on them. Whenever you're going into aluminum, and I just lost the spacer. Whenever you're doing aluminum, you want to make sure you've got some any C's. You don't need a lot of the anti C's. It is gooey. It will get all over everything. But it helps from the steel not sticking to the aluminum over time from oxidation.
Little any seeds goes a long way. Let me stretch and get this in here. What I like about this kit comes with a pulley tensioner, which uh, really nice to have. Stock one didn't have it. See here, this uses the one inch spacers to space it out. What's nice about the kit, comes with the compressor, all the hoses, and everything I need. I'm just going to get this guy in here. Sorry about my head gonna get in the way. I gotta get down here to get to these two bolts. Okay. Goes in there.
cool thing. It even comes with the uh, belt. And that's the part number. Right back, gotta go get a, uh, a wrench. Okay. That's the installation. That's what it looks like. I definitely like this. Makes it a lot easier. Um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to tighten up all the nuts that I just put in there. There's a lock nut here, a lock nut here, and a lock nut here. Now, another thing is, this is a one-wire setup that grounds on the compressor. Actually grounds it right here. This is a two-wire setup. It went to the stock one. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to change it to one wire. And when I do that, I'll let you know which pin and which wire you got to look for to connect this up. But that's the start. I got that. I'm gonna take the camera off in a second, show you how it looks, um, how it fits, and everything. It's a really nice fit. Vintage Air does a great job. Uh, I still got to uh, put the holes in the firewall for the uh, the unit up there, but I wanted to make sure this is gonna work. And as you can see, I got plenty of space between here. Uh, there's plenty of space here, plenty of space down there. So I got a lot of space um, for this to fit using the stock brackets. What's nice if you can use stock brackets, they're super cheap, easy to find, and readily available today. Um, a lot cheaper than paying two to three thousand dollars for. Um, serpentine belt kit that goes on an LS3 engine where you can use the stock and you can see here if you change to independent front suspension with rack and pinion you got plenty of space to hook this up first part of vintage air LS3 55 Chevy pickup so this is the finished setup for the compressor mount. See it goes bolts in there. See how much space I have all around. Definitely like the tensioner. Even underneath here. It's all good. So that's it. That is the Vintage Air lower LS mount. They got it for the truck and for the engines. Same mount, just one bolt goes in a different spot. Kind of odd. You got two different part numbers. Just give you two different instructions and moves one screw. But that's it. If you got this kind of setup, it fits great.